Hi everybody, this is Sonya M. Jones from Tiabo Designs and as promised, I'm bringing you a video showing you how I transfer my business signature onto my t-shirts or my tote bags or whatever it is I decide that I want to make. Um, so the first thing that you need are transfer sheets. These are t-shirt transfer sheets. These are kind of old. They're made by Avery and at one time I thought that I was going to transfer my designs onto my products myself um, using transfer sheets but I decided against it since I found a graphic designer um, and a, a printing company that can do it for me. So I decided though that these would be good to use to transfer on my business logo onto my products because um, I used to hand, I'm used to hand painting them on but I just think that um, this would look this looks more professional so I decided to use these and you know I was just going through just trial and error and I just came up upon this and I decided to use them because I don't like to waste things these have been around for a long time but like I said these are old they have better ones at the store now made by different companies and these are okay but as soon as I run out of this pack I'm gonna go get a newer and better brand well so the transfer sheets look like this though they're just clear one side is uh, the side that you peel and then the other side is the side that you actually will stick into your printer and um, print whatever it is that you want to put on here. Um, and when you print it, you want to print it in the reverse. Okay. Well, oops. <laughs> sorry, drop that. You want to print it in the reverse. As you can see, uh, it's facing um, forward looking at you but it's actually in reverse um, so you just have to take kind of take my word for it okay so what you will do is you will stick you will go on to your word processor your Microsoft Word and you will print out whatever it is that you want to uh, I mean well you'll design whatever it is that you want to design and then you'll print it out and like I said you're gonna reverse the image then once you have it all printed out, then you will take your scissors and you will cut out um, the you will cut out the edges. You will cut around the edges of whatever it is that you printed out the design. Okay, and you want to get kind of close. This one I cut out, you know, just a square. But then, as you can see up close I really really went around you know the image the the image that I have um, to get really close because you don't want the film or whatever to be on the the item that you're going to iron it onto okay you want as little film as possible okay so now that you saw that then all I'm going to do now is I'm going to, right, let me just get all of this together here. Okay, here's the t-shirt. Um, I did this for a customer. It's the Freedom Wings design. So I'm going to take it, and I'm going to put it onto the ironing board. Okay, well, actually, I don't want to do it like that. It would be better if I do it like this. Okay, and then you're going to... Take the transfer sheet and you're going to place it exactly where you want it to be. Okay, and I like, I'm putting, starting to put my signature, my name on the back now. I'm starting to put my signature name on the back of my shirts. I just think it looks better. It looks cool. More professional. <laughs> That's the thing I'm going for. 2015, you know, strive higher. Okay, now that I have it exactly where I want it, I'm not pretty sure you can see that, but I have it kind of where I want it to be. Okay, can you see? Okay. Now all you need to do is just take the iron. Okay, let me just make sure that's exactly in the middle. 
Okay, then you just take the iron and you place it over the top of the transfer. Oh, I'm sorry. And then you have to have the steam off. I'm sorry. I forgot to tell you guys that. Make sure that the steam is off. And as you can see, I didn't exactly follow the directions, but it should be okay. I'm turning the steam off now. You just make sure that it's on the highest setting and that your steam is off. And then you iron on. Fine, it got a little wet there. But it's okay. Okay. I'm just iron around the shirt to get, let some of that steam setting get off. Okay. And you don't want to press it down too long and iron too hard. Because you don't want it to smear. Okay, and then after that, then you just let it cool down just for a few seconds. I'm listening to salsa today. <laughs> woo woo woo. Da, 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 da. Uh, I don't know, I just felt like salsa. But anyway, okay, now it's time to peel this off. Okay, and then you just uplift it kind of slow. Uh, I kind of cut really, really close, so it's kind of hard to get my grip underneath there. I don't really have any nails. Okay. Let me just lift it up really, really slow. And voila! It's on there. Tiabo Designs. Wow, isn't that cool? And then what you can do is that you can lower the setting on the iron a little bit just to make sure that it's uh, secure. And you can take a uh, piece of, uh, I don't really have anything right here right now, but you can take a piece of uh, just like waxy paper or something like that and you can just go over it just slightly, not a lot and not too heavy because you don't want it to peel on you, okay, because you want that to sit really good. Um, and that's it. That's all you have to do. Okay. So, I hope you enjoyed my video. I'm going to go back to finish this uh, t-shirt up. I still have a couple of more things to do. And then I'm going to send it off to the customer. Okay, I hope you enjoyed my video again. And say hi, Rags. <laughs> say bye-bye. This usually is always in a room. Bye. Okay, see you guys later.